How's it going dudes? Welcome to the first video of 2019 and we're starting the video off with a big change. I'm no longer living at home. I moved out from my parents house about a week ago and now I'm pretty much settled like everything's basically in here so I thought I would make a video telling you guys about what the experience has been like. So the new place actually came furnished, meaning I didn't have to worry about bringing any of my major furniture from my house up here. Not that I had a lot of furniture. There it is. Everything is packed up, and ready to go. Man, this feels weird. This is so strange, being in my room, no desk being here, my closet being so empty. <sighs> yeah, it's weird, man, it's weird. Charlie, are you gonna miss me? Charlie? You might not miss me, but I will miss you, Charlie. Okay, bye mom, love you, see you in a couple months. <laughs> And there it is dudes, we are off on the adventure, moving out. We got a four hour drive ahead of us up to Kelowna. Um, it goes through the mountains and this, this drive can actually be quite treacherous sometimes, but it seems like we got a bluebird day, some blue skies, so we should be okay. I'm driving this car, fully packed. My dad is driving that car, fully packed. And don't worry, I did actually say a proper goodbye to mom and Hannah, but they didn't want to be on film, so. I love you, Mom and Hannah, uh, and I'll be home soon. See, let's go. My dudes, welcome to the new crib. Let me show you around. Come in. So you walk in, and you come up the stairs, and you are greeted with a nice kitchen, which is pretty cool. You got everything you may need, stove, oven, dishwasher, sink, fridge, freezer, microwave, must have. Over here, you got like a, I guess a dining area. Got my computer set up there, nice TV. And all around, we have some beautiful pictures. And those pictures are actually courtesy of one of my roommates. His name's David, amazing photographer. I'll link his stuff below. Onwards with the tour though, David's room, Noah's room, my other roommate, Ian, that's his room. Got a bathroom, you turn on the light, and voila. This is it, this is home. I'm definitely working on it a bit, but I'll show you guys around, though there's not really much to show you. Got a nice dresser right here, this came with the place. That is my desk from home that I just set up. Same with the chair. Uh, we got a bed there, super, super comfortable by the way. Again, that came with a place. Bedside table, and then a bunch of like C-stand, tripod, camera gear, that stuff. But yeah, really nothing too fancy, but it is all that I need. So yeah, the room could definitely use a little bit more decorating to make it a bit more homey, but it's a good start. One of my favorite parts about this place and why I ended up choosing it over some other places were its location. Let me show you guys. Kelowna is beautiful. I absolutely love it here and I cannot wait to continue exploring everything that's around. There's a big mountain right outside of our house. The downtown core is about five minutes away and there's adventure all around the city. So no matter where you go, leaving the city of Kelowna, you'll run into something. Now in terms of living on my own and the changes that I've experienced through that, well, there's a couple. One was grocery shopping. Now I've definitely grocery shopped before, but never for myself for an extended period of time. So buying things like laundry detergent and saran wrap and sugar, salt, all of these things that I normally haven't thought about, I've had to get. And I've been running to and from the grocery store so many times trying to remember all of these things and I always forget something, but that'll come. I've got my laundry situation down pat. Though I have like two or three items of white clothing and everything else is colors, so I don't really know how I'm supposed to wash like two or three items. 
I'll have to think of that one. Cooking has been an absolute blast. The first two jobs that I actually ever had were both in the back of a restaurant kitchen. So I've got the cooking down, though I do really miss my mom's cooking. She's like the best. I said I worked in a restaurant. I never said I was any good. But yeah, other than that, I don't think there's too much that's different. I think my two years of traveling prior to making this move really helped prepare me. It wasn't much of a shock, especially because I'm only a couple hours away from home and not on the other side of the world for a couple months. So I think that that makes it easier. Yeah, it's just kind of kind of sad not waking up and seeing mom, dad, and Hannah around the house. But though it's sad, it was a good move, and I've just, I've been loving the city. And like I said, I can't wait to continue living here and see what's to come. Thanks so much for watching, dudes. I cannot wait to continue sharing this adventure with you, and I'll see you guys in another one.